we're starting with everything mixed up. We have 3x squared y squared y prime minus x is equal to 0, and we're given the condition that y of 1 is equal to 2. So we've got to get x on the right side, y on the left side. First step here, I would add the x to the other side. And when I rewrite that 3x squared y squared y prime, I'm going to write, write y prime dy over dx. Um, just because that helps me see, okay, dy stays here, dx goes over there. <clears throat> so we need x's on the right side. So I'm going to divide by that x squared. And I'm going to multiply by the dx. And my y's, they're good where they are. Um, and actually, I'm going to leave that 3 on the side with the y squared because that makes my integration a little bit nicer. x over x squared is just 1 over x. So when we integrate both sides, the antiderivative of 3y squared is just y cubed. The antiderivative of 1 over x is the natural log of the absolute value of x. Don't forget the plus c. So that's our general solution. We want the particular solution. So let's plug in our initial condition. When x is 1, y is 2. So we have 2 cubed is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of 1 plus c. Well, the natural log of 1 is 0. So that means 8 is our c. So we have y cubed is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus 8. If they needed uh, an explicit, you would take the cube root of that entire right side. And no, you cannot take the cube root of 8 because you're adding the 8. If you're multiplying, if that were 8 natural log of x, then yes, it would be 2 times the cube root of the natural log. But because of that plus, that's as far as you can go with that. Okay, so that example wasn't as bad as that first example. Okay, couple more problems here. Um, this one says find the equation of the curve that passes through the point 1, 3 and has a slope of y over x squared at any point x, y. Well, anytime you see the word slope, you should think derivative. So really, this is a differential equation. It's just kind of disguised in words. Okay, when you, think, when you see slope, you should think dy over dx. So the slope is y over x squared. So this is just a separable differential equation. X is on the right side, Y is on the left side. So that means we need to divide by Y or multiply by 1 over Y, however you want to look at it, and multiply by the DX. So we have 1 over Y DY is equal to 1 over X squared DX. To differentiate, antiderivative 1 over y is the natural log of the absolute value of y. Be careful with this. Don't say that that's the natural log of x squared. Okay, that's really x to the negative 2. So when we add 1 to our exponent, that becomes negative 1. So that's negative x to the negative first plus c. They give us a specific condition. It goes through the point 1, 3. So let's plug that condition in. 3 is our y. 1 is our x. Well, that negative 1 exponent just puts that in the denominator. So 1 to the negative 1 is still 1. So that's the natural log of 3 is equal to negative 1 plus c. So the natural log of 3 plus 1 is our 
C. Okay, let's plug that back into our denial solution and see if there's anything we can do to simplify. Natural log of the absolute value of y is equal to negative 1 over x plus the natural log of 3 plus 1. Technically, we can put this in exponential form. So y is equal to e to the negative 1 over x plus the natural log of 3 plus 1. Remember that that is the same as e to the negative, or excuse me, yeah, e to the negative 1 over x times e to the natural log of 3 times e to the first. So the e and the natural log there in the middle cancel. So really, our particular solution is 3, that comes from what's left when the e and the natural log cancel, e, um, let's see, how do we want to write that? 1 minus 1 over x, just combining those exponents. So really, it's, it's not the calculus, this is the difficult part, the anti differentiating and stuff, it's the manipulating the equation afterwards that gets a little tedious sometimes. Let's look at another one like that. This curve goes through the point 3, 2 and has a slope of negative 4x over y cubed. So slope dy over dx is equal to negative 4x over y cubed. This one's going to look a little different. I can tell already because of where my x's and y's are. Multiply both sides by y cubed. Multiply by dx. So we have y cubed dy is equal to negative 4x dx. Integrate. Antiderivative of y cubed, y to the fourth over four. Antiderivative of negative four x would be negative two x squared plus c. Plug in our particular information. X is three, y is two. So two to the fourth over four is equal to negative 2 times 3 squared plus c. 2 to the fourth is 16. 3 squared is 9, so 16 to the fourth is 4, is equal to negative 18. 22 is our c. So let's put it all together. y to the fourth over 4 is equal to negative 2x squared plus 22. Go through and multiply everything by 4. We're trying to solve for y. y to the fourth is equal to negative 8x squared plus 88. And then take the fourth root. Anytime you take an even root, you've got to include the positive and the negative. Well, actually, hang on. We really don't need the positive and the negative. Our y was positive in our particular, in the information that they gave us, so we only need the positive. Okay? Because this y value right here that they gave us, that initial condition, since that was positive, we only need to consider the positive here at the end. Okay? Now, just a note. Uh, you may, if you're looking at uh, an entropy or a rubric at some point in time, you may see that at this step, where uh, I've got the y is equal to the fourth, it is a fifth to the you may see them go ahead and solve the y there, and then plug in the initial condition. Uh, your c will come out a little bit differently. Uh, you'll end up getting 88 for c instead of 
to, but you can see it either way when you look at the same thing. So I just want to let you know. You can soft pull on here, like a blue step, or you plug in your condition and then soft pull on. Typically, I think it's easier to plug in the condition first and then soft pull on. Um, but you can do it either way.